What's going on, guys? Um, I'm going to try to give my opinion um, on a subject that has bothered me and perplexed me um, since I guess I've been um, following boxing, which is um, the, the boxing journalist, right? The boxing journalist. Well, I guess I'm going to try to define what I consider a boxing journalist and what I consider not a boxing journalist. Um, I'm going to start with the first two requirements. Uh, the first requirement, which is pretty clear and cut, is you have to have a degree in journalism, right? Um, people can't claim to be an engineer if they didn't study the, the foundations of what it takes to be an engineer. That includes, um, you know, learning the fundamentals of science which um, and mathematics, which include obviously calculus, physics, more um, wide um, subjects in, involving um, engineering like thermodynamics, uh, fluid exchange, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so that basis is needed to be called an engineer. So I think that base is needed to be called a journalist and journalist first uh, um, and first, because without that, you lack the fundamentals and understanding how to format properly, understanding how to ask questions, understanding how to be not as biased. And of course, there's, there's boxing journalists who are biased. Everybody has a bias, but that foundation is necessary. So yes, like I said, the first requirement is you need a college degree in journalism. The second requirement is you need to have some in-ring experience. Now, this one's more controversial because the first one is clear and cut. Why I say that is you don't have to have be a pro boxer. You don't have to be good, but you have to know what you're talking about. I mean, if, if I'm a, a political um, journalist, right, and I'm a political journalist in, in the realm of U.S. politics, I have to have a complete understanding and immerse myself in the U.S. politics, which, in, which involve, you know, studying it, um, um, being speaking to people, et cetera, et cetera. So I think it is important to have a cerebral understanding of the sport, to have been in the ring and to understand what it's like to get hit, what it's like to pull punches, what it's like to train. You know, these are, this, these are just the bare minimum requirements, you know, to then be, um, you know, to, to even for me to consider them a boxing journalist. So, um, having said those two things, um, you could eliminate. So when, when someone calls himself a boxing journalist, you could, if those two um, requirements aren't fulfilled for me personally, I immediately put them to the, to, to the term as blogger, right? Now to be a good blogger and to be a good, um, videographer, you don't necessarily need those two requirements. Um, there are plenty of people who don't have college degrees or been in the ring that do a good job on YouTube. Um, I don't know, um, like Ellie setbacks, um, background per se. I, I don't know if he went to college. I don't know if he's fought. It doesn't matter. Um, but he's not doing journalism work. He's, he's being a videographer right now. People who do podcast shows, um, anybody could do a podcast show. I was on a podcast show. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm a journalist, right? So. I think when the term boxing journalist is, is used so much down, it waters down the um, the quality of it because there are real boxing journalists out there still. Um, somebody who I do respect just randomly, um, Michael Woods. Um, I disagree with him politically in a lot of ways, but I will give Michael Woods a shout out because I think that he um, is very capable of writing. I think that he understands what it's like to be in the ring. So he's an example of someone who I respect. And I think often the people who uh, don't have that fundamental background, which of, of being educated, I think um, they don't think it's it's necessary um, for that requirement. But I'm telling you, if you look at Michael Woods as a piece of his writing and you, you, you compare that to a blogger, you will see a, a vast difference between the two. Um, it's just it's just just a random thing that, I you know, I don't think people understand one way or the other. But I think, again, in summary, that to be a boxing journalist or to be considered a boxing journalist by me, you have to have a degree in journalism, one, and you have to have some ring experience. Um, I will have more rant videos. Um, thanks you guys for listening and supporting. Uh, we'll be back later with more rant videos. Thank you.